Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tronage, and today we're going to be talking about FPV Crate for April 2020. I'm super excited to check this box out. It's pretty, I mean, I don't want to say it feels heavy, but it feels solid, like it's very full. So I don't know if maybe there's a shirt in here that's padding it out, or they just, I don't know, usually they don't feel so... Like there's not much movement at all in here. So I'm super excited to check this out. Wanna check it out with me? Well then stick around. Guys, April 2020 FPV crate coming at you. I'm super excited to get into this because like, like any kid on Christmas morning shaking those presents under the tree, I mean, this has got some solidness to it. I don't know if there's maybe better packing in here, a t-shirt, I don't know, something, but it just has a different feel to it than usual. It's a little more solid, a little maybe, maybe heavier. I don't know what's different, but something's different and that's making me very, very intrigued. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring you all up in close. We're gonna crack this open together and we'll look at what is inside and I'll give you my genuine reactions to what I see. Then we're gonna do a cost analysis to really see what's this stuff worth? How much did you pay? How does it all boil down to everything? And did you get the value that you come to expect? or did you not? That's a question that you need to ask yourself and we're gonna solve it here. But before we do any of that, slam that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit that bell icon. Makes finding my videos a whole heck of a lot easier, helps support the channel, and it keeps you in the know when I post videos like this one. So without further ado, come on in. Pow. All right, guys, FPV crate, let's get into this so we flip it open and i notice it's got one of them vinyl stickers i love these vinyl stickers so much they are like smooth oh butter 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 oh that feels so good to cut all right guys let's go in because i want to know what is inside this box that's making it feel so just sturdy so let's dig in So first up, we got a little paperwork thing and I'm gonna take that away because I don't want any spoilers, but we will take a look at the sticker sheet. Pretty cool stuff we got there. Liking that, nice heavy duty sticker sheet. Pretty, pretty cool. We got some packing material and not much. Oh, ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh, it gets me all happy when I see motors, baby. We got booster motors here. They're the 2207s, 2100 KVs. Trying to, it's kind of hard to read with the glossiness on it. So I'll just hold it up to the camera and let you try to figure it out. You know, if I do like that, there. Kind of, I guess you can sort of read it. I don't know, it's kind of hard. Yeah, they're 2207. Oh, they're 2700 KV, not 21, my, my bad. It's 2700 KV, 3S, 4S rated, 39 grams, naked bottom style. Made in China. Booster motors, baby. How do you get, how do you go, how do you go wrong with getting a full set of motors? So we got one, two, three, four motors in here. Even if they're cheap, Getting motors is such a welcomed and wonderful thing from these mystery boxes. So we'll run some cost analysis on these, but that's probably why I felt like it had some weight to it. Cause four motors, that's a lot of metal. That's a lot of magnet. That's a lot of everything. And just that alone feels pretty heavy. All right, next up, we got some props here. What do we got here? We got some HQ props. Got some HQ props. So two in black, one in white. I mean, I prefer to get all three the same color, but hey, you know, I'm not that big a deal of uh, having mix and matchy. There is no uh, label on these though, so I'm gonna have to crack one open and read the hub to see what we got here. All right, so these are the HQ Props R35s are what these are. 
So we got ourselves a three packs. Oh, that's not the pack that came from. This is the pack it came from. Don't want to mix and match. That would be terrible. All right. So we got three packs of HQ props. Looks like we got a battery strap, which is not really even, it's not even a buckle kind. It's just where you just wrap around. So that's kind of garbage, but whatever. We'll move on with that. And we did get a shirt here and that is the remainder of this box. So that's why the box felt stiff too, was it had a shirt and motors, a double, a double downed. Let's see what we got here. Oh, sweet. It's the same from the sticker sheet. There you go. Very similar, if not the identicalness from the sticker sheet, but on a shirt. That is pretty cool. I like it. It's not too bright in your face, though. I don't know if I'm still. I mean, again, again with this shirt, I'm having the same problem of the last FPV crate shirt where it looks blurry and blue overspray yet again. And I mean, this should be very obvious side by side. I mean, it's the same graphic and nearly identical in size even. Well, not exactly, but close enough. And I'll give you some close up shots here, but you can see clear as day in this area here, this is all white. There's no blue on the perimeter of this craft. There's no blue around the perimeter over here. This is pure white. Look, I'll hold it up close. This is all white on the shirt. It's all blue. You see all that blue? It's like halos of blue. See like all here is all blue and over here, like it's a ton of blue. It's like all blue, 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 all around. And then also there's this one spot. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm getting picky here, but that's clearly a flaw in the print. You know, that doesn't happen when you silk screen shirts. So I'm just not feeling the quality on this because it's just, I don't know. It's like the same problem I had with the shirt prior is the same problem I had with this shirt is that you know, if you hold them side by side, you can see it's clearly the same graphic. It's clearly the same picture, but the t-shirt, it has the blue overspray and the graphic does not have that blue overspray to it. See how that wing just has all this blue underneath here. That, that shouldn't be there. Cause that's not in the graphic. There's nothing there that should be blue. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too critical about the shirt, but I mean, it looks like it just the blue doesn't even belong. It's like not even the right tones for the picture. Like this picture looks sweet. It's like kind of like a blue a sepia, but like with blue tone instead of yellow tone. It's a very nice picture. This looks good, except for these two areas have this like weird blue neon halo that just does not match it, like clashes with itself. So that's a little bit frustrating. I mean, it's a cool shirt other than that, but it's just I don't know. It's just a little, little irritating when, when things like that happen. And like I said, this flaw at the top, I mean, without even even pointing it out, I'm sure you can find where it is. I'll give you a hint. It's in the center of the screen. It kind of like ruins that whole like nice shaded area with like a little blob that shouldn't be there again from the printing process. So it's a little disappointing, a little disappointing that it's not, uh, you know, the quality that I would expect from a shirt. I mean, it's not, it's not rocket science printing a shirt, but I'm sure they're using the print on demand services rather than silk screening because it's a little cheaper, but it also you can run into these kind of problems if the printers aren't maintained, you know? So anyway, uh, let's do a little recap here. So we have the shirt, we have the sticker sheets, we had the three sets of props. 
and we had the motors. Let's run some numbers and see if this pans out to be as good as it looks on the surface. All right, who wants some cost analysis? I do. There it is. All right, guys, let's look at this April box because I will say I'm very excited. This box definitely what it lost in quantity of items it made up in value this is pretty a pretty epic box as far as my opinion and i always if you if you know if you're a fan of the channel i always get a little bit giddy when i get motors i don't know why but just when i see a set of motors in there i just feel all happy warm and fuzzy inside so let's go through this line by line and talk about it so first up we got these hqr 35 props now the props themselves did not have a label on the bag the, I had to basically look at the engraving on the props themselves to really see what they were. And they turned out to be an HQR35. It didn't sound familiar to me. And when I looked it up, I even, I couldn't find it. So if you know where to find R35 HQ props, let me know in the description down below. But what I'm going to go out on a limb and say here is because there are 42s are their racing props that are a 51 42. So the 42 is kind of like the pitch and the R means it's like racing. So I'm going to, you know, assume that still means 5.1 inch prop. I'm going to say tentatively that the HQR 35s are a 51 35 prop that, you know, it's a 5.1 inch prop with a 3.5 inch uh, pitch and that will be what I'm just going to call them until told otherwise. If there is any update, it will be down in the description or in the pinned comment below. While you're down there, why don't you hit that like and subscribe button? And hey, if you don't, if you don't like it, hit the don't like button. I don't care. Just hit something down there. All right, man. Whoa, what's going on? This just in. It says make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right. <laughs> so next up, we have that shirt, and that shirt is really bugging me you know my original like degree from college is in art and art professions I work professionally in the art field as an art director for some co a couple different companies through the history of my career and when it comes to art and design and production those things really bug me and the last two shirts that we've received from FPV crate the quality is just horrid it is not silk screen i think it's those rapid turnaround where it's basically an inkjet printer that can print on fabric and i looked into them because i thought hey how cool would it be to have my own tronage merch and i can just buy a printer and print on shirts and stuff like that here's the deal with those printers they take a lot of like maintenance not so much that you have to like tinker with them but they have to kind of keep running because if you don't keep printing shirts with them the ink jets clog because it's it's basically spraying paint instead of ink so the sales pitch is always like oh well that printer will you know it'll just keep on printing shirts well the, the translation is it really it has to keep printing shirts otherwise when you go to use it again it's going to be clogged and you're going to waste a lot of ink or toner paint whatever you want to, whatever the consumable is into it to get it working again to try to flush it out and it's going to take a lot of work to get that if it just sits i already know those rapid turnaround you know printing shirts they do make it that you can just bang out custom shirts because you don't have to make a whole silk screen which in itself is a whole different process which i also looked into but to buy all that equipment it just takes up a lot of space to like have the silk screen and have the the light to expose the films and to make the emulsions and all that whatever we're not, this is not an art and craft shop but the point i'm trying to make here is that you definitely can tell the quality difference and these last two shirts are absolutely horrendous whatever printer they're using whatever you know if they're not doing it in-house then whatever shop they're using they need to complain and stuff because 
there is no reason to have both of them have exactly the same problem blue overspray and blurry image so when you look at it it's just something is not right and it's the exact same problem on two shirts so that tells me that it's the process not so much the graphics and the key thing here is that i know what the graphics should look like because in both cases they also included the picture on the sticker sheet so I can see what it's supposed to look like, and then I can see what turned out. And I can see, as I show with those close-up shots, the photo is a nice kind of aquamarine color, and the little crafts that are flying through the air are kind of surrounded in like an aqua-ish white color, but it's a very, it's a very tonal sepia, but not yellow, kind of like an aqua green color. Not navy blue not at all navy blue yet that's the color that's surrounding all the different things and kind of making it look askew which tells me that one of their ink jets are clogged and not spraying whatever color it's supposed to spray to make that blue turn more aqua my guess is yellow because if you add yellow to blue you get green and that's the color i think they were trying to shoot for so my guess is going to be that one of their yellow jets is maybe not functioning 100 percent, so it's not turning the blue to be aqua and making it look ugly. So maybe I'm getting too technical on this shirt, but it's just really bothering me that there isn't some sort of quality control on this stuff that they look at it and go, wow, this image looks really blurry and it looks the wrong color. Why are we sending these out, this product out to people twice in a row? Maybe I'm individual. Please let me know down in the comments below if you have the same similar problem with your shirt, but mine looks horrid. So not that I'm not gonna wear it, don't get me wrong, it's just, you know, if I get something, I'd like it to be a high, higher quality, at least better than that. With that being said, though, with every bad comes the good, and there is some awesome good in here with these booster motors. Now, granted, the one problem I have with booster motors is that I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure that they are a copy of something else, just a rebranded version. I guarantee you FPV Crate didn't decide to just do their own research and create a whole new motor from scratch. Somewhere, somehow, that's some other motor that they've rebranded. If you know, I mean, I believe someone in the past, made, a couple people had some guesses or some uh, ideas what they could be, but let me know down in the comments below what motor you think this is really a rebranded version of. However, that being said, because you can't compare it to anything because it's their branded motor and they're not saying well this is a blah 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 motor so it's really this kind of value i only have their value that they assign to it to be what it is and they are basically calling this an 18 dollar motor which in my mind puts it kind of like in that middle middle upper ground of motors kind of in my mental just kind of classifications you kind of have your $10 motor, your $15 motor, your $20 motor, and then you're above that, $25, $30, $30 motors, and stuff like that. Now, per motor, that's sort of like your low, your medium, your high, and your like, you know, exotics, if you will. Now, I'm pretty confident in saying that these are probably not like an $18 motor. I'm going to kind of go on the feeling that these are probably like around the $15 range. And I'm going based on nothing, not, no facts whatsoever, that's just my opinion. However, I'm still over here on this cost analysis because they call it an $18 motor, that is what I'm going to classify it and give it credit for because that's how much they would cost to purchase it. However, being a, I'm almost sure, a rebranded model of a motor, it is probably a little lower priced motor and that they're kind of adding on a couple bucks just to make it because it's like, ooh, exclusive ours motor, whatever. They're calling it 18. It's probably a $15 motor. Either way, it's still crazy, crazy value because after you take all that said and done, motors, props, and shirt that's bugging the crap out of me. We're coming in at $40 worth of value for this box, which is a crazy amount of value. Now, let me explain something. If you're new around here, or at least new to mystery boxes, here's how it works. You give up choice. You don't get to choose what's in your box, but you hope to get value in return. For me, $20 is my baseline value. If you give me $20, of value, I'm willing to sacrifice my choice and be 
a okay with it. If you give me less than $20 now, I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Listen, listen, bro. I thought you were going to hook me up. You didn't. Now I feel upset. If you give me over $20 worth of value now, I'm like, dude, homie, you rock. So giving me double what I'm expecting in value to get from this box is crazy, crazy, crazy value. Now, whether or not the motors are good or not, that's not what that's not here or nor there. I'm just saying that to get four motors, even if they were $10 motors, that's still crazy value to have received. And I'm really excited about that. And plus, motors are just I, don't, I told you in the beginning, I get all giddy when I get motors. They just make me all warm and fuzzy inside. It's like I feel like a rainbow unicorn that I have a set of motors that I can play with, tinker with. Uh, put on the bench, test, and fly. Uh, it just makes me happy. So I'm allowed to be happy when I get motors. But uh, crazy value in this box. Still annoyed about the t-shirt. Quality's not there. The HQ props, I don't have confirmation if they really are 5135. I just have that there are 35. So if you know, let me know. And really that's it so now what really the only thing we have to wait for now is the april quad box because that's when we're going to do a comparison now to see what is going on because i mean quad box is was doing pretty good but this is a killer box man 40 dollars of value over the cost that's kind of like a pretty awesome box especially for march you know, usually getting motors is a is a Christmas December kind of a thing. So I'm I'm kind of curious how Quadbox retaliates with this, and I will tell you a little uh, spoiler alert. I do have the box. It's currently in my you know mail quarantine area, so that um you know any incoming mail or packages or stuff sit for a little while before I uh, handle them and use them. Um, oh, and I will say, if you noticed when I was unboxing the FPV crate, I did forget to wear my gloves and I kind of freaked out about that afterwards because once I finished filming, I was so excited to open it. I forgot I wasn't wearing my gloves. And then after I finished, I put all the stuff back into the box. I looked at my hands and went, ah, so, so I went, ran real quick and washed them. So, you know, all is setting good in the world of Tronage as well as I hope it is for you at home. So, as always, my name's Tronage. Fly strong.